Hello everybody, give you a little rundown of what I've been working on. So what I've done is I've actually made a circuit board that replaces the AM FM tuner. Here they are. So this is the original AM FM tuner inside your Delco 80 style with the mid 90s radio. This one here is the circuit board halfway done that I've actually made. Now this is going to give you Bluetooth plus auxiliary uh, input. Now the the inputs are selectable through AM and FM. FM of course is going to be Bluetooth. And that's all hardwired. There is no signals back and forth. It's hardwired. It's all internal onto the circuit board. And then the AM is going to come through a little 3.5 millimeter jack here that I got coming out the back of the radio. So that's your auxiliary too. What's that for? If you have an additional MP3 player, you have a video player, anything you want to send an audio signal through uh, for the amplifier here to uh, play, it will do so. So... What makes this so special than any other Bluetooth that is out there? Now, there's about five or six radio, uh, I'm sorry, YouTube videos out there that show people putting a Bluetooth and clipping some wire, soldering this, and jamming it inside here. That does not give you hands-free. There is no hands-free. This is giving you hands-free. If you look here, this is where the original MFM antenna goes into. Well, now I have a little 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And that headphone jack is there to plug in a Bluetooth microphone. That's right. You get to wire up a Bluetooth microphone in your car, in your GM radio, in your GM car, and play it through the radio as if it's from the 2010 era. Now, the tape deck also works. Well, this tape deck doesn't work, but it would work if yours tape deck worked. The AM and FM uh, selectables here, as you can see, the clock still works. Everything still works. In fact, even when I turn, in fact, I'm going to just demo it for you right now. So here I am. I'm turning it, and as you can see, everything's changing. Now the stereo. You see the stereo flickering right here? That stereo indicator is now your Bluetooth indicator. When it turns solid on, which it just did, that mean, that's when this phone, which i got to set up for, let me go ahead and turn it on is now going to play something. So preset three is gonna be play. As you can see, it's already playing. And I already got one speaker hooked up. Preset four is next. So let's play the next track. And then if you wanna, so go ahead now, I hit preset again, and I'm gonna go back to something. There you go. So you can see I got full control right here from my presets. Now this same play and pause will also answer the phone. So when your phone is ringing, you're gonna hit preset three, it's gonna answer your call, and you're gonna talk like you normally would. Now, as far as auxiliary two, now if you want auxiliary two, which is again, there's gonna be this little 3.5 millimeter headphone jack coming out the back of the radio here. So you're coming out the back of the radio here. All right, just hit the standard AM. Now we're on AM, you can see AM here. I don't have nothing plugged into AM right now, but it does work. I It does work. Go back to FM. You're going to see the stereo in the indicator. It's going, to flat, it's going to start flashing here. That's indicating that it's searching for its Bluetooth connection. Solid means that it's starting to connect. And then solid on means that it's now ready to play. There you go. And I can still turn it off and set my clock like I normally do all right turn it back on now again FM it's going to search for the signal and as you can see it automatically finds your phone it's not something you got to constantly do you can literally take your phone put it off to the side never worry about it true hands-free going on here guys and again play and while it's playing turn it up I only got one speaker hooked up you can see everything works Everything works as it should. But I can put the tape back in. Now, unfortunately, it does not pause your music. It does not pause because I'm going to eject it. And you're going to see that it does right away. So it does not pause it while the tape is in there. No, that's not something I can modify. But it is just want to let you know. But that's it. That's what I've been working on. Do you guys have any interest in this? Let me know.